Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to review the racing that has taken place over the weekend starting with the fighting fifth at Newcastle on Saturday. Now that race it was controversial but in the end Epitan and Not So Sleepy dead heated for first place. It was a great race itself and you looked like Epitan was going to win as they were coming down to the last dead and Coleman did look pretty confident but in the end Not So Sleepy fought back, fought back well to get up for the dead heat and so Real won ve ran very well again in third. From that race you'd think Epitan probably underperformed a bit even though it did get the dead heat in the end. You'd expect a horse like Epitan to be winning that race but it was also very nice to see Not So Sleepy bounce back to form as it is a very frustrating horse with a few quirks. On Newbury on Saturday we also saw some very impressive performances. LS de Bell won her first race over hurdles by eight and a half half lengths in a race where Nina the Terrier did fall but looked beaten at the time and that has put LS de Bell right back to the top of the market for the mayor's hurdle and is currently about twelve to one to to win that race. I think for the Dan Skelton and Harry Skel Skelton combination, this horse does have a big future over hurdles and potentially chasing in the future. But that was a very nice performance. Later on in the card we saw Ahoy Senor winning in a grade 2 beating Mr Incredible by 31 lengths and this horse has been an absolute revelation improving all the time and that was actually his first chase win and it came in a grade 2. And this horse for Lucinda Russell does have very smart form. If you look back at entry where it beat Boy of Man's Game by a long way and looks an absolute natural over fences and will only improve from here. And then in the lab books trophy we saw Claudia Glenn win for Trevor Hen Hemmings and that was a big price at 33 to 1. It was a very poignant win for the connections obviously having lost Trevor earlier in the year and that horse would have done him proud. It was a very good performance. Fiddle on the roof ran with very good credit in second place for Brandon Powell but the winner stayed on gamely and deserved to win in the end. And then today we've seen Honeysuckle make it 13 out of 13 on Douglas and another brilliant ride by Rachel Blackmore again. The horse just seems to do no wrong at the minute and you'd expect to dominate the two mile hurdling division again this season as there's not much opposition. Ronald Pump did one creditably in second but was still beaten a long way and what you'll expect Honeysuckle to go on to win the champion hurdle. It's about even money and was shortened from 6 to 4 to about 1 to 1 after winning that race. So, they're my roundup of the racing weekend. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe.